Why did Americans want freedom from the crown? Once again, the crown, they are known as the British government. Okay, so back in the 1970s, no, sorry, the 1770s, um, you know, the British Empire, it included almost the entire east coast of what is now mm, the United States, right? So the 13 colonies, right? Now, the British Empire did poorly uh, when it comes to governing. They abused their power, lack of communication to homeland security, okay? But it was the main abuse of power, the main reason why uh, Americans wanted, let's say, uh, independence from the British Empire was because of the abuse of power. So let's answer this question. And why did Americans want freedom from the crown? So we have all of the above here. Americans wanted freedom from the crown for the right to exercise free trade and ability to migrate westward. Americans uh, desired to produce their own goods without crown interference so let's break this down a little bit more here so americans wanted freedom from the crown for the right to exercise free trade so there was a lot of tariffs okay uh, sanctions we'll say and these are uh, these taxations right or these um limitations right they'll say Americans cannot do business directly with France. They must go, uh, they must pass through England first, go through a series of checks, and then from fr England, uh, get shipped down to France, okay? Same procedure with the Spanish Empire, right? So Americans, they were, they were being kind of constrained, all right? Now it says here the ability to migrate westward, okay? So the British Empire did have a lot of respect for uh, the local natives, right? They worked alongside with uh, local natives at one point, definitely during the 1800s, uh, once the Americans did gain their independence, right? When they were migrating westward, right? There was a point in time where the local natives, you know, grouped up with uh with the british empire and things like that right but here let's stay in the 1770s right the ability to migrate westward so they wanted to migrate westward because they needed uh to use the land they were scarce on land uh they desired more land right and british empire had formed treaties with uh the confederacy stating you no know, you know those anything here from these mountains west from these mountains uh belong to the belongs to the local natives um when americans did gain their independence the local natives they acknowledged that Um, they basically acknowledged that the Americans gaining their independence would lead to their downfall, the downfall of the local natives, right? So now here it says Americans desired to produce their own goods without crown interference. Once again, there was a lot of uh, laws. You had stamp acts. Give me one moment. Let me, uh... The computer's going to die here. So you had stamp acts, uh, sugar acts, uh, a lot of corruption in office. People would that had power would uh, remain in, within power. Okay, I had to charge my my, my computer here. So it says produce their own goods without crown interference, right? So uh, one big crown interference would have been the the in uh, like a law or an act where military men, the red coats, had the right to go into your private property, eat your food, 
you know, use your bed because they were trying to maintain order in the 13 colonies, right? So there was a lot of crown interference there, right? Um, and that's basically like, you know, a nice little recap. You know, if you need more material, visit the United States uh, A series. And I'm launching the B series in 2020. Right now it's 2019. Yeah, 2020, the B series should be up. Okay.